Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the login form using React application. So this is a professional login form. You can see the uh, design for this more. Uh, this one you can see the mobile responsive. You can see the mobile responsive. So how to make this step by step will teach. Okay. So the UI design will be teach. So first I am going to go to open up the new go to the google uh, he drive new project Hit login form react type cmd if the uh, command prompt is open up i'm going to go to the google search i'm going to type install uh, white, you have right white. Bit, bit, bit. It is not white, but bit. So, bit, bit teaches nothing but a front end tooling. Okay, we can uh, installing any one. Okay, you can if you want to configure the Angular, you can configure the Angular. If you are React, if you are go for the all things. Okay, the, so we have to create this. Copy this code. npm create white. Uh, let us this one. And coming to the command prompt over here what is the command prompt you have open here this one e drive your login form this one why I, we have accidentally opened the this one we don't need this whole thing okay. based on it press enter key on a keyboard here now i am going to pro type the project name which is a login form package name press tab key again we have pressed uh, enter key here it asks to select the framework i'm going to select the framework as react uh, you have to select the framework using the up and down arrow key so the up and down arrow key here down arrow key react press enter key here you have to select as a javascript press enter key now here uh, the login form it's getting here like this so here if you now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this one as a look like this okay so login form now i'm going to go to over here i'm going to type control cd login login form okay so it's close inside here i'm going to open up the project code space dot to open up our project now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to yeah this is the react single page application index of here csrc here app dot css app dot jsx there are two different folders uh, files are there app dot jsx app dot css Okay, now what you are going to do is first time I am going to go to this is your index.html page so uh, yeah, app.jsx this is app.jsx so here this code I am going to I am going to this is the the react work first you have to calling the this is single page application first you have to calling the main.jsx so the main.jsx this is it will be calling the app this is app consists of app.jsx app.css okay so this is the welcome when you run the project this is the welcome script so i'm going to get rid of these lines instead of that i'm going to paste on this all the source code i'm going to paste on it here this one yes like this code control a to select all control c to copy control a to select control v to paste it css also i'm going to getting the css so, so here Control A to select, Control C to select, Control A to uh, select all, Control C to copy. Here you have to go to, here you have to Control A to select all, Control V to paste to here. Control, control S to save all. So this is the CSS and JS, upload JSX. Okay, this is of the project. Okay, don't worry, I will be explained. First we have a, what I did here is, this is a simple login page, like single form design. Okay, the class name, this is style we have written for the login container. This is the form. This is the style we are given so on submit method okay so login which is adding uh, it consists of email field along with the 
password field and one button okay sorry now here you can see here it's a label email okay the written your styles also you can see the label so input field we have a input field here we have what is the value you enter on the uh, text field so what is the value you entered over here the email the email email and password it will be it will be changed over here this is the your on change method what is the value if you are if you have change the email address its value would be changed it's the text what is the value you are entering it will be changed according to the text you have to, uh, uh, written okay so that's how the we have to this is the purpose of you have written the on change event okay so enter the username once you click the submit button it's goes to the submit here here we have here here we have write the code okay email and password okay so the email and password we have written the code so here we have write email and password okay so you have write the password correctly the correct field so the the password consists of here a b c at gmail.com now the password is correct click on this here the email and password you have to test that but it's successfully the event this event we have to work through that okay so here now we have to go through the main.ts sorry style we are looking for a style the body the body means this a uh, body the body we have a this is a font we have to implement the font of the text the, the text fonts okay so after that we have margin zero padding zero we have to write it here background gradient we have to set this we are using this gradient to we have set the gradient this gradient we have to set it over here in css we have a, a linear gradient we have to style it look like this display flags we are using the flags this is a flags box so the justify container center alignment center height we have to write this one 100 bh login container this is a login container which is a login container this container background would be white border radius 16 means this is a border radius 16 we have to adjust as 16 padding 30 padding mean this is the padding outside inside okay outside there is a called as margin padding is inside inside we have to call it as 30 where you can imagine if you are padding you have said it's a 10 what happened and also save all sorry this project uh, I haven't run this is the previous project I think so, so. Okay, so here here uh, this one padding out set as 10 now okay see here here it look like this way okay it's not pretty okay so the 30 should be there enough okay now here you can see the width I have set it as a hundred uh, percentage Login container or the max width max width means this is 400 with the max width here we have to put in this size as a uh, uh, height 700 with the this the height will be it will be increasing okay this height will be increasing okay it will be increase the height to be increasing okay the height, height will be increasing okay so your main width it should be 400 okay so body is that that uh, uh, box shadow the, what is the meaning of box shadow I mean this is a box shadow here okay around the border you have a shadow our login form we have to make it as a flags direction column mean this is a direction column this is a direction column after that we have to write the h2 h2 we have a margin bottom font size and color align all the things that we have set it here okay after that we have an input field we have write the input field we have designed ourselves this input field we have set it here here uh, with under pixel padding font size border border radius outline all things have we set here the focus the focus uh, uh, blue mean get a blue focus okay the, this is a focus here the, the around the line which is a focus okay so you have uh, change the color and I will show you if you we change the color as green now what what happened the 
color would be here is gray okay that's a focus color after that button the button color we have set it as a button is a uh, this is a blue color uh, light blue uh, sorry uh, light blue here color would be the text borderline none padding border radius font size and cursor pointer cursor pointer means a cursor pointer here pointer okay when you move the cursor there is the hover color the button hover color also we have write the hover button hover color uh, text sign up text sign up for so margin your stop margin 15 the border size and text alignment this all things the text alignment text color the all the text color we have set this color uh, this is a font decoration this one should be hover color so who underline who means this is the hover color the underline the underline should be covered this is we have put them on here okay so there are simple css style i have text the very simple css style if you go through the css style you can understand this one we have written here the under, under, uh, understand purpose okay so here first you can write the use state what is the meaning of use state what is the username you are type it here email address and password you are type it here okay once you click submit button it will store this here set password and email address this both are go over here and passing to the this variables okay this variables you are passing to here okay that's of the programming works. Okay, very simple. Use state is managing the value. Okay, we are managing the value. Okay, this CSS style, we have to, we have to, uh, path, we have to call it here. Okay, the simple one. Okay, you have to have a, I hope you can have a good understanding of how to make the simple login form using React application. Go through this video. This is very helpful for you to learn React application.